in the real world, you often need to concatenate values in a way that includes line breaks and other punctuation. In this video, we'll look at a clever way to make this task easier and less error prone. A common example of a situation that requires concatenation is assembling a mailing address from data in separate columns. If I want to create a mailing address using this data, I need to create a formula that uses concatenation to bring the name, street, city, state, and zip together. In addition to cell references, I also need to include literal text for spaces and a comma. This works, but notice that everything just ends up on the same line. Enabling text wrapping isn't going to fix the problem because the line breaks will be random depending on the column width. To fix this, I need to insert actual line breaks, and this is where the character function is useful. On Windows, character 10 is a line break, and on the Mac, it's character 13. To add line breaks, I just need to use the character function with the appropriate number. In this case, because I'm working on a Mac, I need to use character 13. Once I add the character formula where I need the line breaks, the address will display correctly. Note that you must have text wrapping enabled when you use line breaks. This works fine, but it's a hassle to string together all these references with literal text. One trick you can use to speed up the process and reduce errors is to define any literal text as a constant using a named range. To start off, I'll set up cells for a space, a comma, and a line break. Next, I add the required text in each cell using character 13 for the line break as before. Finally, I'll name these cells space, comma, and break using Excel's named range feature. Now when I create a formula for concatenation, I can just click to include both cell references and punctuation. I don't need to worry about adding double quotes because Excel already understands that the space, comma, and line breaks are text. And as a bonus, the formula is much easier to read and debug.